But yeah, this week we're gonna do a quick um, catch up because we don't have that many things to, I guess, update. But because it's been a weird month mm -hmm. lately, so. But yeah, if you want to start off with the catching up or whatever you want to say to start off. Yeah, sure. So yeah. now we're back on Mastermind Six. I know it's been about a little bit over two weeks. I think we just get busy with life and. Um, yeah. The biggest news for me is I started my new job at a company here in, in Austin and just finished my first week. So I'm really excited awesome. and, and uh, just now kind of packing my things together because I'm <laughs> preparing to make another move as well. That's kind of what generally has been going on with me. Just just been really busy with that. How about you? Nice. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm back in my regular room and Virginia so I'm not in Austin <laughs> anymore but that's not I'm not saying I'm not gonna be there or I'm not gonna be back I'm coming back for sure but um I'm just waiting just because my Airbnb Airbnb rent was up mm -hmm. and I was still waiting on the I guess job um, updates to like the people recruiters to like update me like to see what was going on to see if to see if I was gonna make it to the next uh, rounds and stuff like that yeah, and but, it's usually a long process for the interview too, like multi-stage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just thought, cause one of the companies, I'll, I'll, I'll go in depth later on the next topic, but uh, I'll say something about that later. Um, but yeah, I figure I wanted to stay one more month in Austin, but then I was like, well, I don't want to spend more money on that Airbnb I stayed at, so mm -hmm. I'm back in Virginia. It was not too expensive to get back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 50 bucks to get back yeah and uh it's at an all-time record low <laughs> yeah it's like very weird prices i'm surprised but uh it's just been a weird month lately i mean it's been a weird year i mean because of the virus thing going on for so, sure for sure yeah so, yeah do you want to yeah, start off it, yeah you want to start uh, off with job searching then because i feel like yeah yeah in segue yeah yeah, yeah, let me start off with that. So job search. So I had, well, I want to say I still have a couple of prospects um, to work. So the first one will be called Ojo Labs. They're based on um, Austin. They don't have any offices anywhere else, I don't think. Mm -hmm. And then the other one will be Unity, which I think mostly everyone knows because they're a gaming platform. Mm -hmm. So... I made it out to second rounds with them. Um, after the first screening, I made it. I made it to the screen to the talk with the or interview with the manager or whatever. So at Ojo Labs, I got to meet the VP of engineering, and but that was very informal because it was just a conversation. We met at a coffee shop down in South Congress in Austin, mm -hmm. and uh, for Unity, I only well I did move to the second stage in the interview process, but. They postponed my second interview because um, the guy that will be my manager decided to move on with someone else. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean they discard my uh, application. That's just because they opened up a new position, like a technical support engineer mm -hmm. position. And they're like, well, we haven't posted this yet, but if you're still interested in working with us, we'll set up a call ASAP. Yeah. So. Just because they're in the UK and they just got back to me this Friday, um, I'm hoping that guy's gonna reply back to me tomorrow, tomorrow, wh whatever time, mm -hmm. uh, to set up a call. Just to, I mean, the, I, I'm I'm past the first screening, so I'm just trying to get to talk to the manager. Yeah. At this point. Um. I, mm -hmm. What were the roles you were applying for? So at Ojo Labs, it's a. The role is the same as Unity, a support engineer. I mean, basically what that person is doing is like, yes, I will be interacting with clients, but I don't think like too much, like talking on the phone, I don't think. Yeah. And the other part is just fixing bugs, like coding bugs. Like, uh, they told me, Ojo Labs told me their application is web-based, mm -hmm. but it, she didn't tell me like what frameworks. Mm. But she she told me you'll be looking at logs, you'll be like debugging on the dev tools and stuff like that, and then just writing documentation on how you fix stuff basically. But I'm not building out features, I guess. Yeah, more of a support role. 
Right. Yeah, not until later, I guess, until like because they said that this will turn into like a software engineer position. So okay. Um, but yeah, then the, the role at Unity is more working, it's still a support engineer position, and um, it's mostly dealing with issues, tickets, and then more server stuff like DevOps. Yeah. So yeah. kind of similar to the stuff I was doing for Facebook a while back. Yeah. Okay. So that that's pretty familiar to me. So. Um, I think I have a better chance at Unity, to be honest. But we'll see. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I'm I'm still positive about both, but uh, we'll see. Cool. But um, yeah. I'm I'm curious if you could say a couple sen sentences. Like I think it'd be helpful for people, um, to see how you, maybe you've prepared. Like, and also, um, maybe one lesson or something that you took from the whole interview process. Because right, you know. Right. So for the interview process with the Ojo Labs to start off, um, so I applied to them like last week, I want to say, and the guy got back to me the same day to set up a call. And he was like, "Don't you don't have to perf you don't have to prepare for this call. It's just it's just gonna be you and me talking about the position, and mm -hmm. then you talking about yourself and your experience and how you fit and in into this position." So that went pretty well. I didn't have to do. I didn't have to do any. I mean, I did do research on the company because I was telling me, yeah, you guys right. seem to do like machine learning and then do real estate and like the thing that comes into play with machine learning is like you guys help the person trying to buy a house or selling their house make the best decision mm -hmm. for them. So he's like, yeah, that's pretty much what we do. And um, and then onto the second round with the BP. Um, that, I mean, the guy did tell me in an email, like, even before uh, he set up the time and date with this person. So he's like, yeah, this com this is going to be more, it's still going to be informal, but it's going to be talking about, like, um, wins, pivots, and um, things you learn on your past jobs and, like, something else. But I, they have to, like, mm -hmm. write stuff down, like, trying to remember like what to bring up in case they ask anything about those topics and um yeah so the pretty much the first question she asked me was like tell me about yourself that that's not in your resume mm -hmm. but that's a confusing question because i was reading online like this question can mean like well talk about yourself like what do you like to do mm -hmm. or talk about your past work experience so it's very <laughs> a weird question so I feel like it went pretty well, but at the end, I mean, she was taking no notes in her iPad as a, as we spoke. Oh, okay. So, and then she was asking very specific questions, I guess, about like, this were more related to as how you deal working in a team. Like she was, she was asking, is there a coworker you work with in the past that you don't like? And, oh, uh, okay. and then why, why ask that? Like, I was like, well. I don't know if I should have said this to be honest, but I was like, well, this guy, he was very condescending. Like I will ask for help and he would just tell me like Google it or something like that. So, yeah. So stuff like that. But I don't know if that was a good thing to say, but I don't know. But yeah. that's pretty much it. I mean, I didn't have to do any technical preparation for this one though, because she was not asking. I'm not going to be asking you any coding questions. So don't, don't worry. Um, but the last, inch, I guess, the third round will be on site, and that will be technical, I guess. But I still don't know because this guy, I'm sure, is gonna tell me like, prepare for this. We're gonna bring this up, and I don't know. Um, but I don't know. So, but it was pretty easy. I mean, it was mostly conversation. But and then Unity, um, with Unity, it was basically also the first call was just a screening. Like they got talking about Unity. I mean, he pretty much he felt comfortable with me. Like, he was not telling me much because he he knew he knew I knew about Unity. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I I found I found about you guys like a while back in 2015 or something about this game design workshop. Yeah, and we had to download Unity to like design a game or whatever. Ah, so he's like, oh, you're you're pretty familiar with it, so you know what we do. With that. But then he started going into in depth like in like how some um, airlines or airplane companies use them to like. 3D mo model the map you see on the screen whenever you're flying on a plane. Mm -hmm. Or the heck, like restaurants like McDonald's. When you walk in, you see that screen where you can order your food on a TV. 
Yeah. They use they use their platform to make that stuff. Okay. And uh, mobile games, and then he explained to me about the team I will be working in, which is called Multiplay, a multiplayer, whatever. Mm -hmm. But basically, that company is the one that handles uh, the multiplayer servers for Apex or PUBG or Rocket League. Okay. And I don't know how many other companies, gaming companies, but but that's what they do, and I will be working on that team on site in Austin. So. Um, once I explain my side of things, like my job experience, because it was pretty similar to what I did at Facebook. He's like, okay, th that's pretty similar to what you're going to be doing here. Mm -hmm. So he's like, I like what I heard here. So I'm going to put you in touch with the manager. So, but like I told you, they, they moved on with that position. The one that's, you remember it said like team lead. Yeah. So that's the position that closed in. So, um, the other one is just a support engineer position. So, it's, I'm not gonna be a team lead. I'm just gonna part. I'm just gonna be part of the team, basically. So, yeah. So in summary, feels... and basically, like you were applying for the team lead position at Unity, but then they decided to go with another candidate, and yeah. then you know they they still wanted to keep you on file, so they opened up a just a regular support engineer position, and yeah. that's what you're applying towards now. Yeah, like the guy sent me the Google Doc with the whole description of the job. Basically, mm -hmm. I mean, I was checking Unity if they posted it yet, but they haven't posted that position yet. But um, I'm just hoping they're gonna set up a call, like a date and a time tomorrow. So, okay, hopefully that pans out. But that's basically it, though. I haven't ha haven't had to do any preparation, basically, because I I don't well Unity. I'm I'm sure the guy, the manager, once we do the call, he's gonna ask me some technical stuff about. Yeah. <laughs> servers or like unix or how to do stuff on the terminal but that should be pretty easy i think yeah that's pretty much as on my end there okay uh mm -hmm. yeah very a lot of description in there uh yeah. <laughs> you could probably make your own video about the interview process towards the end yeah if you want yeah towards <laughs> the end once everything goes well i'll i'll, I'll do a video so. <laughs> yeah. um cool I'll, I'll go into the first week at my job um, mm -hmm. So the big picture is the first two days we're onboarding, basically all the employee things that you have to do. Um, they gave me a laptop. They gave me uh, some free swag. So that was that was <clears throat> nice of them. Nice. And Thursday and Friday we're basically finishing up onboarding <clears throat> things because I have to take a, a kind of personality test. It's called Berkman's assessment, and then another test called Strength Finders. So just so you know how you work with people or what skills you should, um, you know, focus on. And that's kind of the big picture. Um, it, it's pretty laid back so far. Uh, nothing uh, crazy. But mm -hmm. also due to the, the virus, uh, I've been working at home since Thursday. And I think yeah. we, we probably will continue um, until the new office opens. So none of this is related to the virus itself, I think, but just because our new office uh, is not ready yet. So that's mm -hmm. why we all have to work at home. But we'll see what happens beyond that when we do have the new office and this right. virus hysteria continues. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. As far as the workload goes, there there's not that many things. Some new topics that I have to kind of pick up or review uh, is ASPX. Um, object-oriented programming, strong typed languages. I'll probably have to go back and look at jQuery and P P I have to learn PHP at some point. Mm. And some of the code base is also C sharp. So um, yeah, some I have a, a t laundry list basically to take care of, but yeah, dude. it's not in a rush or anything like that. Right. Uh, other than that, the first week is, um, not too bad. I I, I like I like at the company so far. Um, I haven't really jumped into it yet, but I'll keep right. you all updated as, you know, my maybe three 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 month review or six month review or something. So, kind of know how it progressed. Um, right. Yeah, just an in interest of time. Uh, that's that's kind of what happened at the first week so far. Um, right. Should we jump into side hustles? I guess I was gonna ask something about the new office. Is that gonna be close to the old office, or is it gonna be closer to downtown, or? Where is it going to be? Do you know oh, yet? Oh, yeah, yeah. So the office is, <clears throat> the, the the buildings are right next to each other. 
it's basically oh, a, a okay. office rental company. We were in building one building and now we're just moving to another building. Okay. And so they're just building that out right now. I see. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, let's jump into our side hustles. Yeah. You, you and me. Um, let me see. So for me, um, so side hustles, I've been making more, I mean, writing down or recording more ideas for my music stuff. Mm. Cause last night I was kind of like, I was up late just recording like some ideas that just came up like later in the day. So I'm like, why is this happening? Like, it's weird. It's just like, <laughs> I was just playing around and then I came up with stuff like <laughs> right there. So I'm like, let me re just save this for later. Cause I don't want to stay up till like 5 a.m. Thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, thinking about it. So, but besides that on my coding stuff, uh, I'm trying to get back into fam cause I just got back Tuesday. And it's just being weird because I hate the time change, like daylight savings. Yeah. And um, and then being back here is just kind of like, okay, I'm, I guess I kind of feel lazy again, but I need to just, I guess, brush it off and then get back into the front end master's grind because I want to finish the JavaScript stuff. But um, that's pretty much it on my end now. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um. On my end, uh, I have two things from the past. I don't know if you remember. One was the U.S. Census job that yeah, I signed yeah. up for. And yeah. the other one is the um, University of uh, Austin teacher assistant position. Mm -hmm. Concerning both, I think I'm not really moving forward with them. I'm just kind of letting them die out, honestly. <laughs> right. Uh, the reason being is that I think since I have a more stable job now, I just want to focus on that, um, get that up to speed. And these two other things were more like side income things, but I don't feel like I should invest my time in them um, as much either. Um, just various different reasons, which uh, it would take too long. Um, and then the last thing is like with Femme, since you were talking about it, I'm almost finished with Kyle Simpson's course. So <laughs> it's like freaking 10 hours of deep, deep JavaScript. And I, I still can't understand all of it, but... Um, I think the point is just to be keep, get exposed and then later go back and review some more. But I copied down the concepts. And so, you know, I think Will and I at some point will probably get together and just review these concepts and try to teach each other, review it. So I think that would be helpful right. for um, <clears throat> applying to jobs and things like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. On to sick picks or do we do we even need to do that? We got you want we to. Don't. It's all right. <laughs> We're running out of time anyways, so we should be okay. Cool. Yeah. So we'll save sick picks for next week. But um, yeah. yeah, if you all have anything that you're curious about, I know we talked about a lot of different things. Um, <laughs> you know, throw a comment or email, whatever. But um, that's all I got. You want to close with any thoughts? Um, well, not so far, but hopefully I'll have an update next time. So I see when I'll be back in Austin and like what's going to happen with this job um search on my end because everything it looks like at sims everything's gonna be online because they pretty much said they want to avoid any interaction with the they don't want to get those candidates <laughs> sick and they don't want to get their employees sick right. so everything gonna, gonna be pretty much handle over video or something so yeah i, I it's feel like it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting crazy couple months <laughs> but uh we'll we'll adapt yeah. and uh you know, yeah. move forward. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good catching up with you, man. And yeah. um, see you guys on the next one. Yeah. See you guys. Peace.